Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Seaside Crafter. I have um, a haul I wanted to show you. Um, I went to um, an antique store last week that I'd never been to before, so these are the goodies that I found there, and I just wanted to show you all the things I found. So these are uh, pre-posted postcards from whenever, night, whenever a six cent postcard was happening. These all say Paul Revere, Patriot, and they're just blank. They're blank on the back side. I like, well, postcard size. So there's a whole bunch in here. I think I paid $4 for this whole stack, which I just thought was cool. So I like that. This is a cute little uh, recipe book. It's from the Seal Test Kitchens. And that is just a fantastic cover. Oh, there it is. There's the Seal Test, test Kitchen. So this just had... You know, it's an old, it's an old, 1954, it's an old cookbook and recipes. Oops, sorry, this is a whole bunch of postcards, but we'll save that. This, I got because of the cover, Jean of the Lazy A. But, I liked her on the horse. I don't know what that means, but, yeah, I like to, I don't like to pay a lot of stuff, a lot of money for the things I get. Like, I will pay up for things however this was five dollars but i think i just loved the cover so much and it's kind of it's kind of not in the best condition but that was that book then i got this one patio party recipes because everybody loves a good patio party and you have sixteen thousand chances to win of what i don't know match the mitt wherever you shop so yeah, look at that. So, in addition to it having ideas, where are the recipes? I don't know where the recipes are. Where? So it's kind of like an average. Oh, here we go. Make a cool crab crab cotto. Oh boy, crab and avocados. There you go. But they're also advertising their little brand. So that was a cute little thing. Probably from the 70s, I'm going to say. Well, I don't really know what year it is. 19? Lord. 1968 Kellogg. You see that? It's showing up. I guess but I dropped some eyes, so I'm a little, bro a little blurry. I think it says 1968. That was that. Then I found this uh, Care Bear wrapping paper. But actually, you know what? This feels like tissue paper. I just figured, I don't know. Okay, so it's Christmas, which I didn't realize until just this moment. Because it's jingle all the way. And let's just open it. Yeah, this is definitely tissue. Oh, look at that. It's tissue paper. And this is also in here. Christmas. Wow, bonus. I had no idea. So, this, I think I paid $3 for this. So... That was really cool. It's awesome. And I got this. The Saturday Evening Post. Which I did not know was founded by Benjamin Franklin in 1728. I'm not a big Norman Rockwell fan. However, there we go. 1979 Granada. An American classic. And fun fact, I took my driving test on a Ford Granada. My friend Desiree's mother's car. It was red with a white top. That's all I know. So, yeah, but, oh my god, peanuts for the good and healthy life. There you have it. March is peanut munching month, people. So, yeah, I just like the graphics. And then there's this. It's a colonial couple. But they did have, like, some full page. Oh my god, nope. The ad is funny. Remember this, everyone? If you're old enough to remember this, reach out and touch someone. It was a phone advertisement. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's not having that smile when she's talking to that on the other end. Nope. So, it's a sign of the times, people. What did I say here? Oh, this is March 1979. Okay. Figured. Yeah, so it had... I don't know, just liked everything about it. So there we go. Get that. 
Then I got this book. This book, The Art of Flower Preservation. However, I didn't know this existed. You can preserve cut flowers for years. And I just got it because I love flowers and I loved this in the front. Unfortunately, most of the color, the pages are all black and white. And so it kind of gives you a difficult, so how to dye preserved flowers. So I have to look at this. So I guess you are preserving. Oh, here we go. Here's some, <clears throat> some color. Imagine preserving these beautiful flowers. Well, if I had known that, so I think I'm going to have to look at this because I would like to know how to do that. Look at that. <clears throat> now, as I said, I don't like to pay too much for stuff because it's usually going to be used for crafting purposes. However, this one I paid way, way, way too much money for because I got excited. I saw Christmas seals and, and I like stamps and stuff, especially Christmas. So this bad boy cost me $12. However, I did peek in it. I didn't take it out when I was looking at it. And I did see like loose stamps there's other loose stamps so these but the majority of the book some of us have taken all those stamps out but the majority of the book is empty however it does have some some stickers in it and some i've never seen before so unto you is the oh that's a pretty little stamp oh american bible society so anyway, so this was the stamp. A lot of the pages are empty. Um, but I want to show you this one first. Because I had never seen these before. These big, big Easter seals. And then there were validated brucellosis free herd. Well, I guess if you're going to have pork, you definitely want it brucellosis free. And some more Christmas stamps from the Federation of the Handicapped. So that was cool. <clears throat> um, but as you can see, most of the pages are empty. So here's some more. Oh, these are really pretty. Oh, look at that Santa. <gasps> look at those Christmas stamps. I love it. Greetings. All right, so this was the American Lung Association, I believe. Had that little cross double cross symbol because this is probably when tuberculosis was running rampant i don't know so anyway paid way too much for this but they are pretty awesome <coughs> excuse me so i got this little book america sings so i was thinking it was it's it's a community song book i was thinking it was all like i don't know how do you know all the uh, American songs, you know, those that they do around the 4th of July and Memorial Day. But it's not. It's just regular, it's just regular songs. Oh, yeah. Like, here we go. Like, America, Yankee Doodle. But it's not most of those. But as you can tell, this thing is just coming apart. So, that would make for some good crafting things then I found this oh I think I paid a buck for that other book so this Poppy Mechanics was 2 March 1960 and again the graphics are just fantastic she's eating her little seaside meal okay and it's telling you wherever they went but just I just like I just like looking at the stuff that they had back then yeah great new Marlite random what does that even mean oh there you go it's the oh my god what is that it's the paneling there it is okay so that was that book and then I found these books these are um 71, 72, 16 millimeter, 16 millimeter sound films. This, these books were, if you had like a theater, if you had your own cinema and you could rent the movies to play, but, oh my God, there are so many movies in here I never even heard of. And they're awesome. When the cat comes, there you go. 
So, the Wonders of Aladdin. So, some of them actually have the posters that they had with the movie. Which is awesome. Pictures of it. So, there are so, so many in here. Yeah. There you go. Evening with the Royal Ballet. Hey, someone cut that. But anyway, um, they had some really cool, really cool pictures in here. I paid three bucks for that. And here is another one. This is 1973. Tender Sharks. Um, so let's see what's in here. They have um so oh my god like so many things that oh Marilyn Monroe's in that one bus stop wrong kind of girl what what year was that a nightclub cutie is pursued by a brash cowboy who refuses to give up the idea of marrying her well I don't even know what year that is oh well maybe these were all the years the movies that came out in 1973 I don't know it just seems to be a lot so yeah find films at reasonable rental rates so that was pretty cool they have nice horror so I got that so then I got um, this little baggie full of this person had like all these little things in a basket so they put them in this cute little bag that we know I will be reusing. So there are a couple of photos in here. So this is a this is an actual photo. This is 50 cents, but can you see that? I'm trying to find a good image. Look at that. That is awesome. Dry goods, clothing, and furnishings. This guy traveling around town with his little wares. He's hawking. That was awesome. And then we have like some little advertisement cards with some kitty cats oh, here's a here's a picture of a lady she's sitting very I wonder if she's a widow because she's all in black here's everybody on an outing these are like 50 cents but that's just oh that's just awesome they're all in that car they're all going out Oh, little kitty cats. She's going to have her picture taken. Cooks in 10 minutes. Nudivine Flakes. Oh, here is a lady. Oh, actually, I think it tells you what it is. This is Bridget holding John, our trotter. Well, that's a curious name for a horse, but there you go. This was a local history card. This is in Britain, which is cool. This is a postcard with some kittens, an Easter one. Cats waiting for that chick to come out. They're going to get you. This is a very sweet little little card. It's embossed. It's a postcard. And you can see the embossing. Birthday greetings. She was adorable. Here's a little kitty. Oh, Miss Prim. Another little postcard. This is a this is a tux postcard. This is an oilette. Can you see the finish on these? These have like a fantastic finish. But I like I collect some old postcards and I like tux. And so this is um they usually a lot of them are in a series. This is a Dutch home Dutch cottage home series. So there's a Christmas kitten. Oh, it's a sample school card. Oh well, there you go. Jesus is the joy of living. In case you're wondering. But I picked this up because it was just awesome. It's got to be from the 70s. Yep, 1977. 77. That would be good for like a prayer journal. Oh my God, this guy. Having a bad hairdo day. He's not having a bad hair day. He's having a bad hairdo day. I'm going to say this is from the 80s. It just, I don't know. I'm going to say it is. This is the plume in New Hampshire. A nice old postcard. This is a really pretty little girl. This is a postcard. This is... How are we all backwards? I just like this one because it had some cows and 
Oh, that's a church back there. I thought it was a castle. That was cute. Oh, here we go. It's the rat skeller. It's showing you exactly where you need to go. In case you didn't know, that's a postcard. Oh, this is Buckingham Palace, a bird's eye view. Isn't that awesome? That's awesome. You know, you always see them do 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 driving around here, or you see like over here, or like in here. You never see the whole shebang. And there it is. Lovely. Okay, this one now. There's two. I have two of them because I just had to. These were two bucks each. However, tell me if you can see it. Mermaid. Season. Greetings from Southern New England. Can you see it, people? What? What year is this? I don't know. Oh my God, it's from Westerly, Rhode Island. My home. My home state. Yep. So, yeah. Um, I don't even know when that is. Who knows? I like this one too. Is this a tux? Oh, this is a tux. Yeah, I just like those little stairs in the river. Oh, here's another. Here's another tux. This is the uh, Dutch cottage home one. And this one too. Oh yeah, there were two of them, and I got both of them. Having a bad here do day. <laughs> He's so serious. All right, this is a have a glad Easter day. And but the chickens are killing me. Why? All right, this was just a really cool Daffy Duck card. <laughs> that was just a cool, so I picked that up. Oh, we're back at the Rat Scaler. In case you really didn't get the clue the last time, there, this is where it is. The little hidden gem is right there. You can't miss it. I wonder what year this is. I don't even know if we can tell. That was a, that's cool. Okay, this, this is an air view of the Tower of London. Okay, again, just like Buckingham Palace. Tower of London, I did not realize, was this big. I thought, literally, I've never been here, obviously, but I always thought it was, like, legit one of these towers, not, like, a big whole thing. So, like, where are these people tortured? Were they tortured in here? Were they tortured in these guard towers? I have no idea. But this blew my mind when I saw this whole thing. That's just crazy. But anyway, that's an air view of... Tower of London. And this is just a cabinet card of some guy a hundred years ago, I'm sure. But it was just an it's 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 just perfect. And look at this guy. He is just so he's so stately. Look at that stash he has going. So this was really cool. That was a good one. So those were those little nuggets of goodness. Now the last thing I have to show you is I got this pack of ephemera. It was eight bucks. So let me just pull this stuff out. It was in this plastic thing, but I have to be careful because it was also stapled in addition to being taped. So let's just see what was in here. All right, so we have a whole bunch of coasters great white that's awesome granville island brewing fireball fireball corona clives caesars in windsor wherever that is and just those okay oh there's another shark we have some these are the um the wrappers from old cards so this would be like oh this is basketball there we go the ring pop it's the most exciting new lollipop idea for fun since the invention of candy in case you didn't know what year is this <laughs> well this is 81 so there's some basketball ones Bas oh, football we have football basketball oh we have hockey oh. 13 picture cards and one stick of bubble gum. Remember that bubble gum? It was so hard and whatever. All right, now we have baseball. Oh, 87. I remember them looking like this in this one. Baseball. 
Yes, I used to collect baseball cards back in the day. Wish I still had them. Some old ones. Baseball. Football. You get the idea. Football. So there's a whole bunch of these. I don't know what I'll do with these yet. I'll figure something out. Figure something out to do with them. Alright, we have a pattern. Vogue's basic design. Well, what do you think? I'm going to say 80s. I'm going to say 80s. 80s? Early 90s? I don't know. I usually don't tell you. Oh, wait. Mrs. Maternity Dress Jumper and Blouse. What? Oh, yeah. Well, this is definitely... This is definitely the 80s or early 90s because they had horrible, horrible maternity clothes back in those days. Yes, I know, because I lived through it. So here is a Happy New Year postcard. And this feels like... Now, I have some other ones like this that are they're embossed. And, um... They're like, it looks like they're um, spray brushed or airbrushed on. It's the craziest thing with the brightest colors. But so this feels like a, a thicker piece of card that's embossed, I mean, paper. And then this feels like some kind of a plastic. So that's what that could be a piece of plastic. But that's really cool. I'm going to put that over there. All right. Borden's what irradiated evaporated milk well that just does not sound right what does that even mean how do you know they did that back then well this is just some recipes but I've heard of irradiated hamburger which I don't think is very good a special message to mothers it's irradiated with sunshine vitamin D wrong I'm pretty sure that's not even true I would not eat that or whatever. Okay. We have some really heavy coasters here, which I think they're like from what? Netherlands, Switzerland, Finland. I don't know. Grindenwald, Sweden. And then we have some cutouts here, die cuts, some Halloween. Oh, he said, owl, ghost, cat. So they must have tried to sell all this stuff individually, but it didn't go, so. Boo. Oh, these are cute. These are cute. So those are in it. This is, it's a little, it's a 1921. It's an art publishing, so you must have picked out the art you wanted, and you could order it. Here's a friendship card. This is really pretty. I don't know what this is. This is just a picture. A little girl holding some flowers and a boat. That's pretty. All right. Here's an advertisement. Ladies Home Journal, March of 1918. Del Monte Apricots. And then just some awesome... Paul Jones Middies, finest for all for Jim. I don't even know what that is. Shorts? I don't know. Dove under muslins? Oh, God. Okay. Oh, we have some 1952 uh, calendar. A couple of, there's a couple months in there. Indian head cloth. That's cool. With an old Dutch cleanser on the back. And some old pictures of U.S. Air Force Academy in Colorado. There's a whole bunch of them in here. So there you have it. Well, I hope you like this haul I did. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.